How's it going YouTube? Now before we get started today I want to show off this piece of artwork here done by Jimmy Fender. This is a piece entitled The Hero of Balance, The Warrior's Rest. And what a neat picture it is, huh? We can see Bim here just kind of chilling out on the beach. One of his favorite places to chill, I would assume. Being a leopard seal man and all. Cooking up some nice lungfish. Hmm, good shit right there. All dressed up in his nice toga and his dress and his weird little pant things, and who could forget his odd little shoes? We can see he's also wearing his green glass crown, which I chose not to put in any of my drawings of him because it would just be a gigantic pain in the ass. A plus for effort, Jimmy. But I think my favorite part about this drawing here are these hands. I'll tell you what, YouTube, I don't know if you've noticed it in my drawings, but I can't do hands worth a dick. Usually the fingers kind of just look like sausages layered on top of each other, but these ones, mm, they even got like knuckles and stuff. That's quality shit. I'll tell you, seeing Bim just kind of chilling, relaxing like this, Makes me really hope he doesn't die this episode. That'd be a super shame, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anywho, great work, Jimmy. A fantastic piece of artwork, and I really appreciate it. You are a stone cold killer. Well, YouTube, shake that gravel out of your boots and wipe that dust off your stash and prepare yourself for today's episode. and welcome back once again to the Hero of Balance. When we last left off, night was upon us, and we had just set foot into the dwarven fortress of Waterboat. Our hero, Bim Raldesis, or Silver Snarl, was on the hunt for loyal companions on his quest to bring balance to the land. We had just heard some noises up ahead and are not yet sure if it is ally or foe. So we're gonna be kinda taking it slowly. Um. Nothing yet. Now I did just hear something. Oh, here's a little tavern here. The Oat of Cinnamon. That's cute. We have some instruments here, just sitting in this chest, completely unguarded. I won't take any quite yet. Maybe on the way out. Nice little place. But there are no allies to be seen yet. Yeah, I see nothing out here at all. I guess we could start heading down. Oh, uh, what? Oh, the skinny Baroness of Waterboat. I shall greet her. Uh, apparently she's having a word with herself. I don't like being obligated to anybody. Uh, my name is Bim Silversnarl. Ah, hello. I'm Idle Held Metal. Only a fool would travel alone at night. Take shelter or the boogeyman will get you. That actually sounds like a fantastic idea. How do I ask her if I can stay the night? Um, I actually have no idea how to ask her if I can spend the night. And so I will ask her general feelings. How are you feeling right now? The nightmare of webbing is at war with us. The trouble started because of a dispute over a formalized agreement. Death is all around us. This is truly horrifying. So, I mean, you don't sound like you're doing great at the moment. Well, I suppose we can just take a look around and see if there's anybody else. Well, here's a carpenter. Ah, a big old stockpile here. Well, let's see if they got anything good. Oh, all right, I forgot another goddamn armor fits me. Eh, that's a shame. Oh, wait a second, there's two Baronesses here? The Baroness of Waterboat, and then the Baroness of Dyke Knowledge. Huh. Oh, it's the Queen. That's a dwarf I want to talk to. My name is Kivish Keeper Plank. Ah, hello. I'm Bim Silversnarl. I have nothing for you. Only a fool will travel alone at night. Take shelter or the boogeyman will get you. Why the hell would I say that to the queen? Death is all around us. This is truly horrifying. This is some of the weirdest conversations I've ever seen. I don't always do things in the most efficient way. A skilled warrior is a beautiful sight to behold. Again, a strange conversation. Where'd she go? Apparently she's just gone now. Yeah, she's out of here. Alright, well I'll continue looking around the place. I mean, so far I've seen two baronesses, a queen and a carpenter. Oh, and here's uh, the general. Maybe that's who I saw before. I'll tell you what, buddy. You're the general? You probably know where all the action is around here, huh? All the non-goblin related action. Maybe you have like a, a petty criminal like a, a, you know, beat up or something. How have things been? The nightmare of webbing is at war with us. The trouble started because of a dispute over torture. Uh, I can imagine there would be a dispute over that, yes. Um... I mean, do you have any, like, quests or anything? I'm like a demigod here to help you. 
So, uh, how have things been? The nightmare of webbing is at war with us. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we were actually over that. Well, I don't know. That's usually what you have to ask to get a quest, right? I guess I'll ask about the surrounding area. The present mire is a day's travel to the southeast. Savage beasts call it their home. Buzzard men roam freely out there. Yeah, it's fairly unhelpful. I don't know. I mean, you people are seemingly kind of useless to me, to be perfectly honest. Well, I'm not done looking around this place, so let's... I don't know, let's see if there's anything else around here, I guess. I guess we'll keep heading down. Downward passage, eh? Interesting. I don't know what the hell this place is. Kind of creepy. Just some sort of a series of tunnels, I suppose. Very long downward tunnel here. I'm going back to the fort. Alright, here we are. Back in the fortress. Oh. Hello. A goblin? A thick lips goblin fishery worker. Sleeping? Next to the Baroness, who's speaking with herself. I've been considering the subject of beauty! Wondrous. Kinda curious about this goblin. So so here we have the queen, and uh, a baroness, and then another baroness down in the corner here, all just sitting in this completely featureless stone room. I can see why they wouldn't want to come over to Delarshalid. Oh, there's a book here, The Secret of Waterboat. Yoink. Let's take a look-see. The written portion consists of a 65-page guide entitled The Secret of Waterboat, authored by Nagosa Wardwraith. It concerns the fortress waterboat. The writing has a very serious tone, yet it is quite cruel overall. The prose is masterful. Hmm, interesting. What, am I to assume this is a library? It is a large chamber with just a single book in the middle of the floor. Eh, I suppose it's wrong of me to take it, and so I will throw it off into the darkness and take my leave. I gotta say, guys, you have one crap-ass fort here. Hello. A frail outpost liaison. Oh hey, this was the guy who dropped his moss tod at Delerschalid. My name is Bim Silversnarl. Ah, hello. I'm Tossed Orb's Passion. I don't know what the hell to do at this point. I need somebody to come with me. Join me on my adventures. I'm sorry. My duty is here. Oh my god, I give up. Is this really like the rest of our civilization? A couple baronesses, a queen, a general, and a outpost liaison? Oh, and a goblin fishery worker? Well, I guess I still haven't finished checking this place out. And so I continue downwards. What the hell did I just walk into? Uh, some sort of a corpse. Anaya Sethuthaoma Nunariakia Rufithi. And much gore amidst a spattering of ichor. Okay. Not too sure what that's all about. A goblin bone amulet. A yoink. And I'm gonna put that bad boy on. Not sure I'm liking the looks of this place. Bunch of smelters. Not much anything else so far though. Yeah, it looks to be about it. Alright, no one here seems willing to join me or give me any missions or anything like that, so... Tell you what, I'm just gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep away the, the entire night. It's a nice, nice rest. I seem to be unable to. Well, I'm out of here. There's nothing for me. Well, maybe we can rest in the Oat of Cinnamon. Oh, hey, it worked. Cool. Well, uh, good morning, dwarves, and, uh, I guess I'm heading out. I can't believe what a waste this place was. So what the hell do I even do now? The last remnants of Dwarven civilization are just huddled up in an ancient fortress. Well, I suppose there's still Delerschalid. Not the capital, mind you, but it might as well be. Ooh, fish. Be balanced, fish. And they're all dead. Well, it looks like I no longer have any firm goal whatsoever, besides just fighting things and trying to get as strong as possible. What's this place? Brushed Ruler. A human hamlet. I'll have to assume an abandoned human hamlet, as much like the elves, they are extinct in this world, as far as I could tell. Uh, I do see a group up ahead. I'll have to be careful. But it could be worth a look. Alright, we're moving in, don't see much anything yet. Ah, what's that? Dwarves. A whole bunch. And they're warriors. Interesting. And a tad vexing. I hope they're not bandits. I'm gonna call out to this spear dwarf here, he seems to be leading the rest. Oh, I can ask for a cease to hostilities. Well, I guess he's hostile to me. Let us stop this pointless fighting. Never! Okay. Uh, let's begin a scramble. Because I don't like the looks of this. Scramble up towards this house here. Now, it appears that I have a squad of dwarven bandits after me. Not a good thing. Just waiting up on this little hill here to see if they come up at me. Nothing. I keep catching little peaks of them. I'm just maneuvering around these houses here. Oh, there's a couple of them. Maybe these guys will be a little easier to talk to. My name is Bim Silversnarl. I have nothing for you. Why the hell do I keep saying that? Uh, hello. I'm Shem Blockade Shark. Hmm, okay. Seems a bit more personable. Join me in my adventures. I'm sorry. My duty is here. 
But why? Well, maybe he knows about some troubles in the area. How have things been? Well, let's see. We've got the fighting. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, tell me about it. Not a half hour ago, a Kestrel attacked me. Alright, this is going nowhere. I'm out of here. See ya. Man, oh man, this world is just useless. Alright, so we have a bandit group up here in this hamlet. Um... How about up here? There's something else. Gift Esteem, another hamlet. What's this? Oars, my life. Hmm, a book. Uh, 85 page manual, authored by Ica Gill Organs. It concerns the classification of oars. The writing has a touch of melancholy. This is Feldspar. And this one here is granite. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. And so we turn, throw it out the door, and continue on the quest. I don't know. I'm not too sure what to do now. The whole world just seems empty. Except for a ton of goblins up in the northeast corner. There's no quests, no one to help. And so I will call out to my god, I tell match balanced. My name is Bim Silversnarl. How have things been? Come, join me on my adventures. Eh, it was worth a try. And so our journey continues. Maybe I'll just get back to my roots, take a nice little swim, try to clear my mind. You know. Well, there's another human place up to the northeast. I suppose we could check it out. It's gonna be nighttime soon, I'm actually a bit concerned about that. Oh shit. Giant tortoises. I will bet I can scramble faster than them. Hopefully they don't kill me. Easy enough. And three down. Four. Boy, these things are great to train on. They take a whole bunch of hits. They don't move very fast. And you can take their sweet ass shells off. Well, you're not getting away. Come here, you bastard. Tell you what, I haven't tried throwing this thing yet. Kug shall cast the spiked iron ball. I think I hit it. Good job, Kug shall cast. Oh shit, nighttime's coming. Luckily I made it to the beach. Still have yet to confirm whether or not that helps in uh, preventing boogeyman attacks. Make a nice little fire right here. And we will try to catch some Z's. And there we are. Alright, I tell you what, I'm just gonna stay in this travel mode all day long. And see if I could find anything. Actually, here's a group over here. That could be interesting. It's probably goblins. And so I approach slowly. Alright, I managed to catch up to that group. It's just to the east now. Oh shit, it's a yeti? Um... Can I speak with him? My name is Bim Silversnarl. Uh, it doesn't seem aggressive. It is raining. Nothing. Have no fear. All right, I mean, this creature doesn't seem aggressive. I really wish I could get it on my side. Why are you traveling? Yeah, this isn't working. Kugshukas, go! I uh, broke his arm. He's just trying to escape now. <laughs> I feel like a dick. Kugshukas, go! Oh, damn. I missed him and got caught in a tree. Oh, would you? He just, he, he just attacked me. All right, it's on now, boy. <laughs> Just whacked him good in the stomach with Astechelon. Let me, let me just grab my ball, give me a second. I gotta climb up this tree here. Okay, now we're good. Where the hell are you? Oh, down here. Kugshukas, go! Uh, I hit him in the arm again. Time to finish this. No? Just bruised his liver. Mace Fury! Bring it! Yeah, he's, he's not doing very well at the moment. And he's dead. You should've joined me. Fantastic experience right there, by the way. Anywho, back to traveling. Giant lions? That's not good at all. Uh, well, let's start scrambling. Kugshukas, go! Wait, maybe they're not aggressive. Oh, they're aggressive. Kugshukas, go! Ah. Um, hit him in the neck. These things are much faster than me. Oh, maybe not. No, I, I work a mean scramble. Oh, shit. So I've got two giant lions bearing down on me. And they just collided into one another. You morons. All right, I am running. I am, hmm, I'm not too sure what to do. I will throw my dagger at the front one. <laughs> I broke his leg. <laughs> Dude. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it down to a fast crawl, regain some of my energy. God, this thing is fast. I'll throw this orthoclase pot at it. Oh shit, okay, it's, it is on me right now. I will hit its foot. And I chipped the bone in its leg, and I bruised the muscle. Oh yeah. Like those leg shots. Boom, broke his leg. You want some? The other guy's moving in now. Boom. No, oh, missed him. Oh yeah, smashed his foot. You guys are screwed now. Got your tootsies all smooshed up. You ain't going nowhere. Grab my dagger, and I'll get Kugshukas. 
There we are. Now, where were we? Country cast, go. Uh, large copper dagger, go. All right, let's move in for a mace fury. Get him. Get him. One down. Two. Fantastic. Bim, you are uh, just an awesome rock star as I collapse from exertion. This little dagger here really saved my ass. If I wasn't able to break that lion's leg right at the start, I don't know what would have happened. Could have gotten pretty ugly. But we survived. And yeah, we're doing just dandy if I say so myself. And I will. So let's hit that dusty trail. Hey now, what do we have here? Honey badger people. Just now I attacked me in the mauve plane. Uh, okay. Uh, first I shall call out to them. I will ask for a cease to hostilities. Let us stop this pointless fighting. Never! Hmm, okay. Are they coming at me? Nope, they're just, just standing around. Uh, this is like some little tribe, I guess. A tribe of honey badger folk. I will shout out to everybody. My name is Bim Silversnarl. Hello, Leopard Seal Man. I am trans name. <laughs> I guess they don't have a name. All right, well, this is obviously some sort of a glitch in the whole Dwarf Fortress experience. Um, okay, so trans name. We're gonna call you, let's see, what, what, is a, what does Honey Badger speak sound like? Eh, we'll go with Stinky. I will continue shouting. Join me on my adventures. I would rather not. God damn it, everyone is just useless. All right, I will move in cautiously. Maybe I gotta get up in their faces. Uh, I'm just kinda gonna circle the group. They seem to be pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna address someone directly. How about you? I'm loving these guys' conversation. Not a quarter hour ago, an eagle attacked a honey badger woman in the mauve plane. Some people are so wrapped up in themselves. <laughs> Those eagles. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye. I will yell goodbye to them. Goodbye. Now I believe I can start a proper conversation. I will talk to this skinny honey badger man. I will demand that he yields. You must yield. You first, coward. Uh, sure. Okay. I have I have yelled. I will again demand that he yields. You must yield. Well, this guy is just com just completely ignoring me. Bim Silversnarl demanded submission from me. It was inevitable. You first, coward. I I'm sub I'm currently submitting, my friend. All right, I put my weapons away. Was that it? All right, one of you bastards is coming with me. I'm not I'm not taking no for an answer. It's just not gonna happen. My name is Bim Silversnarl. Hello, Leopard Seal Man. I am trans name. Uh, Rascal is what we'll go with. Um, wanna join me? I would rather not. God damn it. How's life here? Well, let's see. We've got the fighting. Tell me about the fighting. Not a quarter hour ago, a honey badger man attacked an eagle in the mauve plain. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. Right in the leg. <laughs> Broke a leg. Oh, you know what? It says he has yielded. Um, let's see if he's a bit more civil now. Join me as an entertainer. <laughs> Let's entertain the world together. A demonstration of your skill might convince me. <laughs> Just laying on the ground with a broken leg. <laughs> I love this game. All right, well, you want to see some skill, eh? Um, story, poem, music, dance. Oh boy. The sensual bewilderment. A sacred solo dance, originating in the foggy books. The entire dance is a basic movement called the Allad. There was a series of seven undulating steps in an intricate pattern with a backward bend and a relaxed arm carriage. Sexy. Well, let's see how we do. All right, we'll do this whole dance. Oh, where are you going? I must withdraw. <laughs> Looks like the honey badger man I was trying to entertain has uh, run off away from the group. I am dancing well. <laughs> That's good. I seem to be dancing very well. Quite a feat considering I have no legs. I conclude my performance. Well, this honey badger over here was actually watching most of it. Hey, let's entertain the world together. I'd love to travel and create art. Oh my god, really? That is fantastic. I just got a honey badger woman on my team. Let's do this shit. All right, let's head the hell out of here and, well, uh, anyone else? Can I get anybody else? I guess before I leave, I should make sure. My name is Bim Silversnarl. All right, so, uh, YouTube, something wondrous has just happened. I have an entire squad of honey badger folk just kind of, uh, just just walking with me now now i had told them that we're going to entertain the world so that's what they think they're gonna do but i've got a feeling they'll all be willing to help me out in a fight oh hey look the broken leg guy came back oh sorry bud i'd ask you to come with me but uh you got a broken leg you're kind of gonna slow us down yeah i'm out of here i'll see you catch ya <laughs> oh my god this is amazing all right team where to uh the honey badger woman has become enraged. I don't I don't know why. Well, I guess it's just something we're gonna have to deal with. I'm very curious to see if these guys will help me out in a fight. I need something to kill. 
Everything runs way too fast. But not you. A cavy boar, eh? Oh, it's running. Kugsha cast, go! Get him! Go ahead, everyone, tear him apart! No, they have no interest in doing that, I guess. Yeah, they don't seem interested. Well, you know, at least I got some people with me. Won't be so lonely anymore. Got my, uh, my faithful team of honey badger people. Why is everyone so enraged all the time? Alright, team, where are we headed? Oh, well, you can actually see there's a... Some sort of a group up to the northeast. Oh, it's that honey badger man. Yeah, you can't come with us, buddy. I'm sorry, your leg's broken. We don't want you slowing us down. And we're off. Alright, now we have an entire team of honey badger people. I feel like we need a base of operations. Oh, night is approaching. That's not great. We'll stop here at the edge of the swamp. A great place for a camp. Make a little fire. Oh, that's nice. Have a little rum. And now I think we should begin performance. What do you say? It looks like one of the honey badger people is attempting to sing along with my performance and are making a mockery of the S-Till. There's not supposed to be an S-Till! Oh, come on, give the guy a break. That sounds vaguely like an S-Till. He's trying. He, she, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. This dancer is splendid. <laughs> well, thank you. It's a fun little night, just hanging up at the campfires, get a little rum in us, and then just dance the night away. A fine day of entertaining, if I say so myself, team. But now, I think we need to get ourselves some Z's. We will sleep till dawn. Good morning, team. Have some breakfast time rum, and we are good to go. Now then, I think we need ourselves a base of operations, but where to have it? Oh, this is a goblin hellhole we're actually right next to. I'll tell you what, it's actually probably a fantastic place to make a base of operations. Right in the face of our enemies. The Light Hill. That sounds like a nice place. No, oh, but you know what? I'm a leopard seal man, so I'm gonna kind of want to be near the water. That's just like kind of a personal thing. So we'll come right over here. This is slightly to the north of the goblin capital. Oh, you guys can't swim that well. Don't go in the water. Don't be, don't be a bunch of dum-dums. All right, so we're kind of close to the water. We need a spot with a lot of trees. That's gonna be important because we're gonna want to do some serious building. Over here's a nice big flat area, a bunch of trees. Looking good. Yeah, I have to say this is a fine sight indeed. Although I guess I should check with the badger folk. How are you feeling right now? I was out in the rain. It makes me so grouchy. <laughs> you badger people. This is a fine sight. Alright, first things first, we're gonna need an axe. I always forget what a gigantic pain in the ass it is to make an axe in this game. Although I will say in the process I did discover there's a walnut tree nearby. So I loaded up on those bad boys. I dropped the rock. Where is the helv? Oh my god. Drop the helve. Get the helve. Create an axe. Boom! Okay, phyla axe. Fantastic. Lord, that's a pain in the ass. Alright, so we got ourselves an axe. Let's start to chopping. Chopping down them trees. Oh yeah. Time for some lunch, I think. Walnuts, sounds good to me. And a little rum. Back to chopping. Well, it's just about nighttime, huh? Well,. I'll tell you what, that was a hard day of work, so I think we should just relax again. Make a couple nice little bonfires here, and we'll partake in our daily wind down slash dance off. <laughs> I must have drank too much before, and I'm currently retching while dancing. Everyone's just kind of chatting, talking up a goddamn storm, hanging out by the bonfires. This is nice. And so they dance into the night. Alright, we survived through the night yet again, and today I think we're going to get some more logs just real quick. Alright, we'll see if this is enough logs. Of course, I'm not too sure what I'm planning on building yet. It's not going to be enormous. Yet. Uh, let's see here. I think first we'll start out with a barracks sort of a, a building for the honey badger folk. And for any other companions that happen to pick up along the way. We'll want it to be pretty long, just so we can put a bunch of beds in there. Also, I'm going to make there be two entrances, because I don't know if we're going to get attacked by goblins here at some point. But if I have to run into this building for safety, I don't want to be trapped in here. So that's how we'll do that. Also, we'll build a ramp outside just so we can access the roof and build some more floors up there. And I'll build some more floors up over the doorways, just to kind of act as a an overhang, sort of an awning deal. There we go. And also, out behind this building, I'm going to build another smaller area, just like that. It's going to be open on the east and south sides, and inside here, I'm just going to put a carpenter workshop. Just like that because we need a place where we're going to be able to build furniture and junk. Well, and I guess while we're at it, I'll build another building over on the side here. Even smaller. And again, with two entrances. Build some nice floors in there. And this building will be for just general storage, food and drinks and stuff. I'll throw a couple barrels in there and, uh, yeah. I think this is going to work out fine. 
Now then, um, yeah, I'm not gonna actually work on building any of this, and I'm gonna have you honey badger people do it because I have utmost confidence in your abilities. So you guys can do that, and I'm gonna head out for a little bit and just kind of check out the area. Good luck. I'm gonna try to avoid the goblin capital for now. I have no interest in getting myself killed, but I'll check out this river here. We're not low on drinks yet, but at some point we will be. So it'll behoove me to get familiar with this area. What's this? Coyotes, huh? I really wish you could befriend animals in this game. But since we can't, I see a bunch of targets to improve my combat upon. Well, I got two of them before they ran away. Let's butcher them up, see what we get. A little bit of meat and some bones. Hey, better than nothing. Kill the stingray in the river. Get some meat from that. And we'll continue on our way. Ah, <laughs> nature. Oh, neat. Hippos. That sounds delicious. Wasn't too hard to kill, that's for sure. And we get 29 meat. Damn, that's nice. Let's see if I can chase the rest down. Easy. Holy shit, I just put the freaking hippo carcass in my backpack. <laughs> I could just carry this thing with me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I guess it's a pretty big backpack, huh? I keep wanting to head home, but I keep finding these damn hippos. Irresistible. Well, that was a pretty successful day of adventuring, if I say so myself. I suppose it's time to head home and check on the badgers. Well, the badgers come running to greet me as soon as I come home. Oh, and they have a ton to say, too. A few minutes ago, a albatross attacked me in the light hill. It was raining on me. So annoying. Not a quarter hour ago, a horseshoe crab attacked me in the light hill. <laughs> you guys. What, this one here? Did this one attack you? Let's take care of him real quick. I'll give him a good bite. Yeah, I shook him around until he died. There we go. Wow, good job, guys. Nice new barracks. Uh, it doesn't look like they finished these other structures, though. Hmm. Well, we have enough wood. Must have just not had enough time. I am starting to get drowsy. So you know what that means. Time for a performance. Our nightly dance ritual. And so Bim and the Badgers danced into the night. Well, that was nice. Alright, now there are no beds in here yet, but I suppose we can catch some Z's inside the barracks. Good morning. Where's the badgers? Ah, good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness, looks like they worked through the night. Good job, badgers. You guys are fantastic. Nice new carpenter workshop. Got a roof up above it. And the stockpile building's all done as well. Fantastic work. All right, now then, today, I suppose, actually first I'm gonna chop down a couple of trees just to get some more wood. And done. Now we're gonna finish up these buildings by putting some furniture in them. We'll need beds all down the barracks, and we'll throw up some nice doors as well. And how about some cabinets in the stockpile room? Oh, and something else I haven't yet done. I think we should name the site. Now the primary focus of this place is going to be used as a, a staging point for Bim and his companions to head into goblin territory and destroy them where they live. All in the name of Itel, the Great Balanced Beard. And so we need a name that reflects this. Desisbom Rathtanoth. Snarl Home, the Temple of Equality. I like it. Let's get to work, fellas. Oh, you know what, damn it, I forgot that you have to actually build the furniture in the carpenter workshop first. So first I'm gonna go over here and grab a ton of logs. And after I have the logs, I have to drop them in the carpenter workshop. And after they're all dropped, we can go and create carpentry, then make anything we want. Oh, you can even make crutches and stuff, that's pretty cool. Whole bunch of crap, very neat. And you know what, I'll make some barrels too to throw in that stockpile room instead of the cabinets. Just a preference for barrels, I guess. Alright, now that that's all made, I have to throw it all on the ground. Currently, I'm holding all of the beds, the barrels, and the doors in my hands. I don't know how that's possible. Alright, let's get to work, guys. And that should do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice new beds for everyone. Gonna snag these barrels here from the carpenter workshop. And I'll throw those in here in the stockpile. There we are. And I'm gonna put a bunch of this meat inside of a barrel and then just throw that on the ground here. Let it get some age, help it to cure a bit. Sure, why not? Yes, I'd say this is a fine little start for a compound indeed. Snarl Hill, our new home. It is from this place that we bring balance to the world. Now, I think the next thing we're gonna have to build is some sort of a house for Bim. With a nice bedroom, dining room, all that stuff. A demigod needs to have a place where he can just kinda let loose take his shoes off of his flippers and just kind of relax. Very important if you ask me. But I suppose that's going to have to wait till next episode. And YouTube, let me step back here for a second. It's important to note that I don't do all these recordings in one solid go. 
I kind of do it in bits and pieces and do the editing as I record. And so the first half of this episode I kind of did in one take. But then as I was editing it, and in the following days, I was able to really think about the stuff that we saw. Down in the fortress we met the Queen, a couple of Baronesses, an outpost liaison, a general, no other dwarves, and a single goblin fishery worker. Very strange. What does that mean? Now when we were playing in Dalershalid, we waited forever for the Queen to come, and she never did. And then when we finally do meet the Queen, she's sitting down in some ancient fortress with a couple of attendants. Kind of a rundown place if you ask me. Now to me that looks like a dwarf who has trouble letting go of the past. Maybe she's too proud to let go of that past and refuses to leave that old fortress. But she's still able to send the outpost liaison to Delirshalid and ask for stuff in trade. And indeed still calls herself the queen of the civilization. Then there was that goblin fishery worker just laying on the ground. What's up with that? And we also found that book, The Secret of Waterboat. Of course, the reading the book didn't give us any specific information on what was inside of it, but it certainly looks like something skeevy's going down over at Waterboat. But hell, I'm here to bring balance to this world, not delve into dwarven politics. Who am I to care? Of course, let's also consider those ruined human villages we passed through, and the dwarven bandits that we met with briefly. This is looking more and more like a world that is just beyond saving. There are so few dwarves left. And I have a feeling that there's still a ton of goblins in the Nightmare of Webbing. This will be an epic quest indeed. And I'll tell you what, I'm not worried at all. I'm a goddamn demigod. Those goblins are the ones who should be worried. Plus, look at these beautiful honey badgers here. Loyal to the end, and they're just the beginning of it. Oh yes, I do intend to give those goblins one hell of a run for their money. Next episode, I think we'll begin work on Bim's quarters, as well as maybe start on a wall around this place. But, I don't know. I'd also like to do some more exploring as well. I don't think we'll be heading into the goblin territory, but mm, I guess we'll have to see what happens. I play this game awful risky sometimes, I'll tell ya. Well YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I do hope you'll join me next time as well. And until then...